we're now getting to a point in the course where we're going to start needing an API to connect to. Uh, and uh, instead of just hitting some random API that we have on the actual internet, I've set up a Docker, um, a, a Docker file, um, and a, it's sort of like an entire ecosystem that you can run on our own uh, computers that will spin up a database, it'll spin up an API that we can then hit and use. Uh, this will be both for the upcoming lessons with uh, actually doing HTTP requests, and then also as part of the project where we're gonna create an entire to-do application. Um, what's really nice about Docker is it allows us to install things like databases, set up APIs, without actually having to install a full database um, on the system on its own. It's containerized. We can remove it very easily. Uh, all the data is sort of like stored in one place. It makes it very easy. Plus, uh, it can be one sort of like one um, one type of, of code base. So in this case, it's made for running on Linux. I'm on a Windows computer right now, but it doesn't matter. This should all run uh, on you know the same on any computer, uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, no matter what. So we need to install uh, Docker. So if you come to docker.com, uh, you can see uh, it's it can be a little bit sort of um, uh, confusing where to go because you don't want to go to products to go find Docker personal. Uh, we want to go to get started. Uh, and from there, we can now download Docker. So if you're on Windows or if you're on um, a Mac, you're going to want to download the appropriate one from here. If you're on Linux, um, it's general, like you can definitely download Docker from here, but you can also install just the, do the uh, Docker engine from your uh, repository of choice. So if you're on Ubuntu, for example, or any other Debian based uh, Linux, you can just do like an apt install Docker engine, I think. Um, it's been a long time since I installed it there. So you will need to do some uh, Googling to install it if you're on Linux. Um, that being said, this is the only place we can get it for Windows and, and uh, Mac. Also, if you are on the new M1 chips, make sure you're downloading the Apple chip. It is very much faster than the Intel chip version if, uh, if you need to. I've already downloaded and installed it. Um, on Mac, uh, I had no problem whatsoever. Everything just sort of worked as you'd expect that it does. For Windows, it uh, I started getting an error saying that I needed to enable virtualization in the BIOS. I rebooted the computer, and unfortunately, uh, virtualization was already enabled, um, but I still kept on getting that error. So I did a little bit of Googling, and found that I needed to enable uh, the Hyper-V. So this, uh, this special feature here. Um, I'll put a link to this Stack Overflow that uh, helped me out in getting Docker running on this system, but um, it may be a different experience on, on your computer because it's possible that your BIOS actually doesn't have virtualization enabled. If you cannot install Docker and you are running on a, a system and you, you want to use this, this setup, then you're gonna need to somehow connect to a remote computer that has Linux on it or, um, or something that does allow you to install Docker. Uh, so GitHub has code spaces. Those are paid, unfortunately. So you'd have to, uh, you'd have to pay to get that in unless you are part of the beta. Um, you can uh, sign up with AWS uh, to get like a free account for a year and then use um, use a very small ECS. Um, or you can use DigitalOcean and get two months for free uh, there and um, and be able to like just SSH into those computers. Also, if you have a Raspberry Pi, that would work as well. Um, we're not gonna go into how to set up any of those systems just in case, but just to let you know, there are options available to you if you're running on systems that, uh, that cannot allow you to get in. Uh, so let's just double check. Once you've installed Docker, let's open up a terminal and uh, make sure that everything is running just fine. So first of all, Docker Desktop, opens up for me. You're only going to get this if you're installing it on um, Mac or Windows. 
in the terminal, I can now do, do things like Docker PS. And uh, it just shows me all the containers that are currently running. Right now, absolutely none of them. If I do Docker images, these are the images that I have currently downloaded. Again, none of them, this is just a fresh Docker install for me. Uh, okay, so I wanna install a Hello World one because this is the best way to test Docker and make sure everything is working. So I'm gonna do a Docker search Hello World. Now it's good to note that if you spell misspell this, like um, actually, no, that worked. If you do like just search hello, you're gonna get this unexpected status code 500 error. Um, I'm not exactly sure why we get that. It might be because there's too many search results. Uh, it's not great. Um, we're gonna do a hello world here. And that's gonna show us a bunch of images that we can download and use. Think of this as like GitHub, but for entire operating systems. Uh, so we're interested in this hello world. Note the official okay here. That means that this is made by Docker itself and is, um, is definitely safe for us to use. Everything else uh, is just other people, like just GitHub repositories, people have made it. It could be safe. It could not be safe. It's uh, it, it's hard to tell. You'd have to go look at the code and uh, review what they're really doing. Anyways, we're gonna run this hello world one. So the command for this is docker run hello world. It's the name of the image. Um, I'm not gonna give it any other options here. Um, it's gonna say, hey, it can't find this hello world locally, so it's gonna pull it from the repo. Uh, it's super fast, and then all it does is just print out this hello world message. And this is how we can know that Docker has been fully installed, it's ready to go, and uh, everything is good. Uh, so with that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.